Okay, so let us uh, read this question. An ion follows a circular path in uniform magnetic field. Which single change decreases the radius of the path? So first of all, we must do this topic and we must understand how to find the radius of this thing. So I don't know whether this topic is uh, covered in your classrooms, if, if it is covered in your books or not. So I'm giving you a little glimpse of that topic. So let us say there is this region and this region is having a magnetic field which is into the board and the region towards left does not have any uh, any magnetic field so when a positive charge i'm taking the case of positive charge it enters into this region it enters into this region so what happens is it is acted upon by a force and the magnitude of that force is given by if i talk talk in the terms of vectors so it will be v cross b so this is the formulation and in scalar quantity it will be given by qvb sine theta where theta is the angle between the velocity vector and the magnetic field which in this case is 90 degree so from this vector equation one thing is uh, is evident here that the vector force will be perpendicular to velocity and it will be perpendicular to the the uh, magnetic field vector also because that is the property of cross product in vectors now again i must tell you i don't know whether this topic that is the cross product is covered in your classrooms or not because i have taught a couple of students where they have not learned this thing in their schools so i i am not even sure that you have studied that or not so anyways whenever there is a cross product it means that the force vector f vector is perpendicular to both of these vectors v and b so f is perpendicular to the velocity vector now this is a condition where force is perpendicular to the velocity vector this is a condition for circular motion again circular motion is very difficult <laughs> So in this circular motion, there was a condition that there is a force which is known as a centripetal force. And centripetal force was always acting towards the center of the circle. It is always perpendicular to the tangential velocity vector. So in circular motion, centripetal is perpendicular to the tangential velocity. Hence, this force is acting like centripetal force. So when this charge enters into this, this is the velocity vector. It is being acted upon by a force vector, which is perpendicular to it. So it moves like this in this circular fashion. And it just gets out of this magnetic field space. So it comes out of it with the same speed, but different velocity because the direction has been changed. So now in this uh, case, the force is always perpendicular to the velocity vector and it changes like this. And the force is always directed towards the center. So it is a centripetal force. So to find the radius of this circle, what we do is the force is QBP and I'm skipping sine theta because theta is 90 degree in this case. So sine 90 is 1. This is equated with the centripetal force, which is mv squared by r, centripetal force, we have done it in the previous year. So we cancel v with v and we are getting the radius, which is mv by qb. mv by qb. So this is the formula for the radius. I could have given you this formula directly also without giving this background knowledge, but I'm giving you this just because to clarify the concept. Now, what is the single change that can decrease the radius of the path? So that single change will be either increase the charge or increase the <clears throat> magnetic field. So here B option is increasing the charge on the ion. And if you increase the charge on the ion, the radius will be decreased. So let us see. And yes, the answer is B. So with this, all the best. Bye. If you need any more thing in this description or in this theory, please do let me know in the comment section. All the best.